In this tutorial, we'll be going over some basic Zoom security settings. Start by going to the settings option on the left hand side. You have the option for security, in meeting basic, and in meeting advanced settings. Let's start by going through security. When you go through security, you have the option to enable the waiting room. Having the waiting room always enabled is usually a good idea, especially for public events. Depending on the nature of the event, you have the option to turn on or off meeting passcode, turn on or off personal meeting ID and passcode. A personal meeting ID is okay if you know all of the participants, such as if you are having a meeting with coworkers or a meeting with friends. However, if the event is open to the general public, it is best to generate random meeting IDs. You can do this by going to your meetings and when you schedule a meeting, you can make sure to select generate automatically instead of personal meeting ID. You have the option to require a passcode for participants joining by phone, and you can also turn on only authenticated meeting participants and webinar attendees can join meetings and webinars. This is especially important for events where you really want to moderate who is coming into the event. You also have the option to approve or block entry for users from specific countries or regions.